Hey everybody, it's Latrice from Not Broke For Long and today I have to unstuff a lot. I have to do all of this in the back. Yeah, so some money has been spent. I have to take it out of my binders and pay off some credit card expenses. All right, so I forget to do this all the time because I don't have a wallet, so my receipts just kind of be floating around everywhere, but I do have my receipts here. I haven't scanned them into Fetch yet, so um, I had more, I already scanned them. I will put my code on the screen. Um, it's a referral code. If you sign up, you get some points that you can uh, stack up and use for different merchants like uh, Nike, Walmart, Amazon. You can trade them in for gift cards. And if you sign up, you get points as well as I do. So um, yeah, so sign up for Fetch. I will be putting these into the Fetch app. And now let's slide this to the side. Let me go ahead and take this money out. So starting with the revolving binder, we go into this binder more than any of the other ones. Um, and I believe, uh, yeah, let's start with family fun. Okay, so let's bring in the calculator. So we have $20 here. And on the other side, $22. So we pretty much spent everything in family fun so there should be 42 dollars in here that we have to take out and let me also get my cash tray look another receipt okay so 20 41 and 2 going back to the bank so that was fun and groceries, I actually have to unstuff for last week and this week. So I used cash in some places and then the rest was on my credit card. I didn't pull anything from last week. So um, I have to do all of that. So let's tally up everything for groceries. I'm pretty sure it's all of this, but let's just make sure. So that's three, oh no, 378. And that's it for this side. And then we have 10 and 12. 15. And 96. Okay, so 214. So let's give this a count. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 90, 200, 20, 31. Oh, okay. So last week uh, I had $17 left over and I already put that towards the ER bill. So if I do 214 plus 17, that's the 231. So I pretty much just have to pay myself back that $17. All right, so that's groceries. So that's two completely empty envelopes. A uh, household, how much do I have to get out for household? Oh, nothing, okay. Nothing from household. My husband see how much I have to get out of his envelope. So this is $22 right here. And six, and that's everything. 25, six, seven, eight, yep. So that whole $28 came out. Okay, and then there's my envelope. Uh, so 45 and nine. I think it's just these two. I'll bring the cash into the frame. Yep, so I just have to take 
$54 out of mine. 20, 40, 60, and I have to give myself $6 back. So now I have $27 left. All right, and miscellaneous. I think I just have this $10. Yep, so I just have to take $10 out of miscellaneous. And that is it for that. That's actually it for the whole binder. All right, next, let's go to my daughter's binder. So I have to take $20 out of shopping. that's it for shopping yep that's it okay I also have to take out $47 from clothes and shoes $20.40 so she has $61 left feels so good to have exact change in here so i used to struggle with the unstuffings okay and then last is uniforms okay so for uniforms there's 34 dollars and 33 so I have to get $67 out of here. And let's just do 70, let's take this. And I have to give $3 back. So now she has 23 left in uniforms and I'm not even done. She still needs more pants. She's never ending with this kid. She just refuses to stop growing. <laughs> so let's, check off uniforms and did I do this side no all right that's it for my daughter's binder actually while I'm here the after school payment is coming out in a few days so let's just take that out now so that's 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Might as well just go ahead and put that in the bank today. And let me add that in here. Okay, now for the sinking funds. And we've been doing a lot of shopping because we are finally uh, getting some things furnished in our apartment so we got the tv stand i got a mattress pad for my daughter's bed we bought a lamp and some air fresheners yeah so that was this is mine so we went to bath and body works because i have been avoiding going into bath and body works because every time i go in there there's always a sale so i'm always like oh i might as well just buy a bunch of sprays and that's that was the old me and i was afraid <laughs> Since I started budgeting, I was afraid to go back into Bath and Body Works, so I missed the candle sale. But we needed, uh, we used the wallflowers, the wallflower air fresheners, and we haven't had them in a while. And my husband keeps saying, when we're going to get them, when we're going to get them. So we went to Bath and Body Works and, of course, spent a bunch of money, bought way more than wallflowers. We all walked away with some type of uh, spray. Yeah. So for home, let's see how much we got to get out of home. So that's 57, 85, 33, 
and 157. So you have to get 332 out of home. Okay. So this is in the bank still. So one, two, three, three, 32. One, two, three, 20, 35. Mm, that almost came out perfectly. 20, 35, and put $3 back. So I have 253 in home still. I think the next thing I wanna get is either a rug or a coffee table. I'm still looking, I'm still trying to piece together the, the design in my head, but I don't know for sure what um, I wanna get next. All right, so all of the back is done. What is left? Travel. Oh, travel and that's it. So last weekend we went to Augusta, which is two and a half hours away from us. We had to go to uh, my husband's cousin's memorial. Um, so gas and snacks and any food that we got while we were there is what this is for. So, oh, I didn't even calculate it yet. So that's 23, 40, oh wait, 23, 40, 42, and 30. So that's 135, 120, 35. Oh, once again, almost perfect. And there is 510 left in travel. All right. So that is it. Pretty quick video. Let me calculate everything to see what this should be. Oh, y'all, this, okay. <laughs> this should be $1,015. So let's go ahead and give this account. Oh wait, plus the 17, $1,032, okay. One, two, three, four, 55, 550, and let's bring this over, minus 550. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 380, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 80, 5, 10, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. All right, so $1,032 back to the bank to pay off the credit card and to reimburse my checking account. All right, and that is it for this unstuffing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Please like this video, turn on the notifications so that you will know when I upload another video. And I will see you guys next time.